With a nationwide shortage of law enforcement officers, News 10 is dedicating this week to finding out what it really means to join a law force academy. News 10's Zane Hogue joins us live in studio with part one to discuss how the journey to serving the community begins. Zane. So you've decided to pursue a new career in law enforcement, but what does it really take to get this process started? I spoke with Staff Sergeant William Laverne with the Lafayette Sheriff's Office to hear all about recruitment, job opportunities, and how to be a standout candidate. Most people think of law enforcement with the Sheriff's Office, which is correct, but we also have a finance division, information systems, mechanics, and fleet operations supervisors. Uh, so we do offer a great deal and a lot of career opportunities to people. Whether you apply through the agency's website or through their various recruitment programs, your application will pass through the Human Resources Department, where staff members will review the job that you're applying for and begin extensive checks on your history. We have to go through background, medical, psychological, uh, just to name a few of them. And uh, it's, a, it's a long, detailed process, but well worth it. While the application process can be time consuming, Laverne says it ensures that candidates' backgrounds and morals align with the code that comes along with wearing the badge on your chest. In the case of those applying to be in law enforcement or in the corrections division, a physical assessment test at the Sheriff's Training Center will also be part of your journey. Basically timing on push-ups, sit-ups, and a course that was created by our training division. Uh, that is basically kept record of as far as time and amount. It's not necessarily a pass or fail, uh, however it does help you if you're able to pass that, uh, push you along a little bit further. After meeting the physical requirements and completing the background check, Laverne says the most important step is self-reflection and remembering the importance of the career and the badge that will be on your uniform. Just be ready to serve your community. That's what we do here. Uh, we're here for the community. Uh, we're asked to protect them at all costs, and, uh, and that's our job. And we're here to just serve them in any, any way we can, and that's what we tell our applicants. Now, once applicants make it through that initial assessment and begin their journey, the first experience they'll see is working at the parish jail. Tomorrow, I meet with the corrections deputies and administration that take me through the corrections experience. I'm Zane Hogue for KLFY News 10.